Hey YouTubers, Shaolin Hawk here, Mission Monic Lodge. So I'm getting uh, people writing and expressing concerns about this next thing that I want to do in uh, Dusseldorf, Germany at the Healing Circle at Walter Spiegel's place. You know, I'd mentioned that, yeah, I'd want to work with people who are really self-confident, they feel, feel secure in themselves, and that uh, to be able to put different skills and information into the person through a touch sequence or the massage or you know, doing what we do at that time. Look, the fear factor comes up with people like, hey, how can you just like touch somebody and they get a skill or they get messages or whatever. Uh, you know, we do kind of like the same thing everyday life. You know, you're always getting some kind of an imprint, you know, from your environment. If you're doing hands-on healing with someone and you, the person that you're working on wants you to give them the energy signature of a healed body, of a, a, a place of balance and good health. So the practitioner, all right, brings that emotion up in them, brings that thought form up in them and when they put their hands on the person or around the person or transmits that energy, then that's what they're doing. They're giving that person that they're working with that uh, thought form, energy signature, an imprint. It's all the same thing. You know, why is it okay if somebody does that for a healing? Yet, if somebody wants to have a skill, why is that a weird thing when you go, okay, I can download that to you. Isn't it the same thing? You know, if if it's okay for the energy healing practitioner to download an energy signature of good health and balance and so on, then why is it weird to do that with information and skill set? See, to me it's the same thing. Well, people say, why haven't you done this before? Because this is something that you do with people that you've been working with, or I've been working with. This is something that um, it, people think they're secure in themselves, and then when they do an exercise like this, they find out that they're not. Well, then why now? You know, we, the term one percenters, the people we think are controlling the government behind the scenes and all that, they are an extremely small portion of the global or world population. But the reason they have so much power is because they are very, very disciplined and very focused on their goals. So, well, like, these people are one in a hundred thousand, you know, and just a small group of them are the big names of the big banks and the big money, and they can cause wars, they can cause depressions, they can cause all kinds of things in the global economy, in the global theater. Yeah, you know, if people want to live a good life, if we, people like, I'm going to say, okay, people like me, if I want to have a good life, if I want to exercise my goals for the world, stop hunger, stop all the rampant warfare, things like that, I have to be really focused on what I'm doing. I have to be very disciplined in seeking those goals. Uh, one part of the thing I want to help people with on the, the downloading of these skills is the art of deprogramming, the self-assessment, uh, looking at yourself and going, okay, this is where I need to really work on myself. Um, you know, we like to give our power away, <laughs> not me, but a lot of people like to give their power away to the ayahuasca ceremonies, the peyote ceremonies. And you're hoping that this plant and substance, these hallucinogens, that's going to go ahead and clear you up. Erase all these bad programs and let you see this different perspective on life. But yet a person shouldn't be able to do that to you. Okay? So yeah, I know I'm going to get a lot of skepticism with this, I'm going to get a lot of flack, you know, uh, at this point I don't care. You know, we need to really step up our game if we're going to compete 
with the people who just really want to plunder the world's resources and everything else. You know, we so I'm asking for people when I get there and and do the door for Walter's place to, if you really want to step up on your energy game, step up on your energy healing skills, you know, let me know. And we'll set up aside different group exercises for this to, uh, to really make this happen. Uh, it's not real quick classes, you know. Uh, I'm looking at this as a community service in a way. So if you're serious about it, let Walter know, let me know. Uh, share my YouTube channel, you know, let's spread the word and spread these good skills. Shaman Hope for Shamanic Lodge.